I've just gone and bought this at auction, hoping to fix it up and sell it for a profit. My first problem is it's got no keys. That's why it's parked like that. So we need to get the ECU off and send that away so it could get programmed and a new key cut. So I use a local um, automotive locksmith in here, come out and cut the key for it and program it in. So the ECU's got security vaults on it, so we need to get them off first. So that's always a challenge and uh, get it sent away for programming. Let's go. Now, the ECU is underneath here. Right, you can see someone must have already had a go at that. You just might see it in there. Well, that's the ECU. So I need to whip the wiper blades off. Take this. Ah, maybe. Yeah. Someone's already had a go at it. Look. Don't know if you can see that. Right. Let's get that scuttle panel out of the way. And then let's get those bolts out. So that is the ECU that we need to get off. Now it's got, I don't know if you can see from there. Let's have a look, see if you can see. Yeah, you can see. Four security bolts, one, two, three, four, to be able to let me get the plugs out. Now we need to get them off, which is difficult. You can't drill them, someone's tried drilling it. But, the threads, you can see the thread on the back side. So I'm gonna just try to get a mole grip on there, see if that works. Nope. I wanna get a hammer and chisel on it really, and knock it round, but that'll just, that'll just bounce. Just gonna bounce everywhere. We made the decision and we're gonna cut it off. So I just put a little cut along there. And a little cut along there. There we go. One ECU off, ready to get sent away for programming. Oh. Now, in the meantime, I am just gonna tuck these plugs up here so they don't get any water in them. While this gets sent off now, We'll uh, have a look around the vehicle. Have a look and go around it. See if there's anything wrong with it. Oil's a bit black, so we'll change oil and filter on it. It definitely needs a good clean, so we'll get that done as well. Probably not while we wait, because I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna clean it. I'm gonna get my brother-in-law to do that for me. So, he's very kindly cut the key for me already. He's just taking the ECU, so he's going to send it off. I'm hoping, uh, I'm not going to be able to get my fingers on that, because the window's open. I'm going to hoping I put it in, hold it on the lock position and put the window up. But now I need some pliers. Ah, bonnet's open. Let's try that.
Ah, oh, I bet. Oh, they come down. Please go back up. Oh no, that one's still staying. I think that one, the battery must have gone flat and it's lost its memory. I'm hoping that's what it is anyway. Because that one's wide open now. Yeah, it's just that one not working. Oh well, at least it's locked. Oh, why did I bother? No, the alarm's going off. Where do I turn it off? Where's the alarm? That's the main thing. I just have to disconnect the battery. Well, that's not good. I've disconnected the battery and it's still bloody going. It's in here somewhere. So, one key now programmed. It starts, but we do. I have a few warning lights on. So we'll plug into it, see what fault codes we got coming up, see what we can do. I'm hoping that start stops because the battery's We have got cooling in it. So that's another fault as well. So get it in the garage now and let's have a look. Just been over the car now. Um, it's not as bad as I thought to be fair. I thought it was gonna be a hell of a lot worse than what it is. So driver's window, that's not working. So need to have a look into that, see whether it's the motor or mechanism. So we strip the door down and uh, go over that one. We've got the front trim, just need to refit that front trim um, around the grill. I don't know if you've seen as I was reversing it in, that it's missing, uh, but it's actually there. We got the offside out uh, brake light bulb out, so good job I checked them. Near side front tire, we've got a bulge in it, um, so gonna have to get that replaced. And it's got a slow puncher in it anyway, because that's blow out to get it in and it's flat already. Um, so the top mounts, you know, that noise I said, the top mount's quite noisy, it sounds like. So i um, gonna try and just spray them up, because it's been stood for a while, so it's probably not been used, got a bit of rust in there. That near side anti-roll bar link arm is loose. I'll show you it in a second. So that's gonna be uh, where the noise is coming from. So we get that done. Hopefully it's just safe to tighten it up. Um, the stability control lights on, uh, engine management lights on, and it said coolant low, but the coolant is it's on the minimum and we was on a bit of a hill. So I'll top it up to max and then chuck it again. But we've got no coolant leaks, general, around the engine generally looks pretty good. Um, need to rebuild all this back up, put the wipers back on. But yeah, so <clears throat> parts I need really is a tire, possibly a door motor or, um, or the mechanism, don't know yet because I haven't looked at it, but we'll strip that door down first. And then we need to find out why the uh, ESP lights on as well. So we'll have to plug into it as well and see if we can find out what's going on there. But yeah, while I've got it jacked up though, I will do that anti-roll bar link arm now first. This is the bottom end of the anti-roll bar. You can see it's loose there. And if I just push up and down, trying to do it at the same time. See how it's loose. 
So I'll just nip that up and hopefully that'll solve that issue. And it's all bar done. Next job, see the bearings up there? Top mount bearings, just about. They look relatively new as well, to be fair. I'm just gonna spray them. A little bit of grease, spray grease. In hopes to uh, help get rid of that noise. Because it's only a little creak, but it's annoying, isn't it? And the same again up there. That one doesn't look as new. So that seems to have clear, cured the noise and the... It was almost like just a creaking noise as you were turning the steering. So we're just going to whip the door cover off now and see if we could test, see if it's the motor gone or see if there's a fuse gone or something for that window that's not working. We ran out of time yesterday to carry on looking into this door vault and I had to get a tyre done this morning. So I've got the tyre done now. Uh, I've put the door guard back on. I've I put it outside so I can open the door up a bit further. But yesterday I was testing the electrics and I wasn't getting a live up to it. So I checked the loom on the inside of the door. So the next step now is to whip this off because it's quite common as you're opening and shutting these, those cables in there are moving. So I would have thought it might be a break in the cable here because the fuses are all good. But we're just not getting a live up to the actual um, motor. So I'm going to strip this down, so hopefully we've got a break in the wire in here. Uh, and then we get that repaired and hopefully that's all done and ready for sale. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, that's going to be fiddly. Ah, straight away. We have some broken wires. There we are, look, don't know if you can see that. But that wire should be connected to one of these in here. Um, will it be easier to take the door off? That is the question. What I might do, I might just quickly connect it just to check see if it all works. If it does, I think my easiest option, because it's so tight, is to take the door off and just put it on the bench and do it like that. Let's just twist the wires together, make see if it all works then. So that back window is now working. Just this driver's one still not. So Got this off, a couple of the pins are a bit corroded. That cable's snapped. There's just a little clip on the back, you have to push that in to release the plug. But it looks like I'm gonna have to take the door off now. So, it's a good job he's turned up to give me a hand. So now we've got it off, you can see how corroded those pins are in there. So all I'm gonna do now, just spray it up with a bit of electrical cleaner, get a little like paintbrush, clean it up as best I can. And then uh, I'm hoping the backside of that is all right. And then we'll repair the wires on the door. Right, so now we've got the door, you can see the main power supply here is rotten through as well. Oh, there you go, broke straight off. Been repaired before. 
and obviously the signal wire for the back window. So I'll get these two wires repaired, put it all back together, and then it should work. That's those two wires repaired in there now. Just cleaned up the terminals and, well, get the door back on and see if it works. Happy days. Now I've got to take the door cut off. Look at that cable back. That's it. Audi's up for sale now. Just finished washing it off. Done the door. And now let's see if we've got some profit in it. I've actually put it up for sale and I've got someone coming down tomorrow to buy it. He's coming from two and a half hours away, so it's likely he's going to buy it. So I paid $2.90 for the car. Recovery cost me 200 pounds. The window, I jumped the gun a bit. I ordered a window regulator straight away before even actually looking into it, which cost me 30 quid. So I'm going to include that in the cost. My own fault, really, for getting too carried away. I had to get a tire on it because it kept going flat and it had a bulge in the side. So that cost me 50 quid. Um, the key, because it didn't have a key with it, so I got it recovered. It took a bit of a gamble if it even started or not. Um, got the key cut and programmed to it. Uh, that cost me 280 quid so total i spent 850 pound on this and selling it well i put it up for 2000 so I let, let it go for 1800 guys going down tomorrow to take it hopefully to take it for 1800 which would give me 950 pound profit so from the last one it covers a bit of the profit for that as well so it sort of equals out to about 500 pounds each then which is what i'm aiming to do with 500 profit per one so 950 profit i think that's a good uh, a good deal and then like i've done on the last one i'll post a video when i know it's sold and let you all know in the comments of how much it goes for if i could do a video when it's selling i will but i uh, probably won't but yeah see you on the next one <laughs>